It is the morning of the first day of competition at Nationals, and I'm sitting here gloriously in a chair, <laughs> waiting, waiting for a lift. Uh, yesterday, I may or may not have sprained uh, pretty bad and or snapped some tendons in my index finger and or broken it. <laughs> I don't really know. But it's all good, baby, because pain is temporary and glory is forever or something like that. Foods, Whole Foods, how much do you think this is going to cost? $10,000. It is the morning of the first day of competition at Nationals, and I'm sitting here gloriously in a chair, <laughs> waiting, waiting for a lift. But, uh, you know, it's a nice day. A little bit chilly, actually, and since we're swimming outside, we'll see how this plays out. But, um, Excited to get going here. Look at that autograph kickboard. <laughs> Morning. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Friday. Uh, I don't actually have any events today, but I did go to the aquatic center to just get in the pool, kind of loosen things up a little bit, get my mind ready for tomorrow's competition. I have three events. That's the busiest day for me. Sunday, I only have two, but um, like I said, did go get in the water today. Felt good and picked up a little something for my 200 backstroke meter race yesterday. Ah! Little Mission Viejo magic to start the morning. Alrighty, in lane one, Brian Bertford. Lane two, Jonathan Goler. Lane three, Joel Rector. Lane four, Jeffrey Moore.
heat number 11. So loveful heat. Beautiful thing. So I just um, got out of the elevator and um, I heard some people right before I got in the elevator say, ask uh, somebody on the hotel staff where the cardio equipment and the gym was and the staff member said second floor. So I'm in the elevator going to the 12th floor because I'm definitely not going to work out right now. And uh, these people get in the elevator with me because I guess the stairs were broken from the first floor to the second floor. I'm like, I think you're not going to do much when you get to the gym. <laughs> Just a crazy guess. <laughs> It's a one-two finish. Dale Webster, San Diego Swim, wins it with a 256.29, followed on the other side by Mr. Von Hoffman himself. The sun has finally come out. It's day three of competition for me, final day. Have one more race, which is the uh, 100 backstroke, so we're going to give that a whirl. Uh, yesterday, I may or may not have sprained. Uh, pretty bad and or snapped some tendons in my index finger and or broken it <laughs> I don't really know but uh, it is what it is it's painful a little bit swollen but it came into the turn for the hundred fly way too hard and uh, that was the result so anyway have a hundred backstroke left uh, it's been a good meet so far um, I definitely have some things to work on but I'm also proud of showing up and showing strong have uh, three events that I've meddled in. So overall, happy with things and going to get ready, have a couple hours here before my last event. Heat number 17 in the pool. Coming up next, heat number 18 of 21, event 37, the men's 100 meter backstroke. After this, it's the final heat of our backstroke suite, event 38, the women's 100 meter backstroke. And lane two coming on hot at the end. Lane claim challenging seven. Bookends at lane seven holds off Juan Pablo Calabrica, USF. 116.01 wins the heat.
4.55 back at the pool, get a little practice in, post-competition practice, and uh, it's a beautiful facility here, so let's give this a go. What's going on, vlog? It is Monday morning. Just got back from, I went to a couple practices in a row they have, uh, at the same pool. They have, I guess, two practices back to back. So I did the same practice twice. <laughs> but I love it, getting back into the grind of things, just feeling things out, being inspired for the next uh, series of steps. And I love that stuff. So again, great facility. And this meet for me was a mixed bag of emotions, just in terms of, you know, there's so much leading up to an event like that and the time and the energy and the money and the dedication that you put into something like that and the expectations and then just keeping your mindset right as you go through. I will say I was very happy with how I executed uh, through this meet against my race plans and just making sure I stayed focused in my own lane. I had no idea what was going on in the lanes next to me while I was racing. Quite frankly, I occasionally would kind of see people in my periphery, but just really want to focus on improving my times and, you know, to medal in four out of six events to have top 10 finishes in those. I feel real blessed and honored by that. There, you know, my some of the breaststroke times and such weren't fantastic, um, at least for me, but at the same time, they're pretty darn good considering I've been, you know, kind of nursing a groin injury for the last three, four weeks. And so I haven't swam breaststroke in at least three weeks at all um, in terms of, well, I've maybe done a couple strokes here and there, but then I had to get right off of it. So anyway, overall, pretty dang good. And it was just awesome to be you know there's always like olympians that show up to these meets which is fun to compete against i guess <laughs> i got some video footage actually at the meet of anthony Irvin. he was in a four by uh it was a 200 meter relay for the freestyle and he swam the last leg and pulled like a 22 second 15 meter freestyle which is pretty awesome uh it's ridiculous actually but super cool, love being at the pool, um, just super inspired by it. Again, you know, I had that funky thing coming in to the wall on my 100 meter uh, uh, butterfly where I either broke, tore some ligaments or just badly sprained my index finger. Uh, but I felt really committed. I mean, I came into the wall full force and I can, I can feel it pretty good. It's been swollen for the last few days since I did that. But it's all good, baby, because pain is temporary and glory is forever or something like that. So anyway, hope you guys are doing great. I'm just going to try and chillax and enjoy myself a little bit. Get ready to fly back into Denver. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive With every star We are Sun. 